taking advantage of online summer deals like Amazon Prime Days, that's today, but consumer experts warn to be careful when it comes to putting in your information. WMBF's Samuel Shelton spoke with the Better Business Bureau on the common mistakes you folks make when it comes to that online shopping. It's that time of year again where online shopping deals are simply one click away. But the BBB and residents in the Grand Strand want to make sure you know where your personal information is going. But people have got to be aware that if they start asking strange questions, hang up. A simple click or phone call about a deal ended in a nightmare for Ron and Lisa Gurton. The couple lost $1,500 through a site that looked like Amazon, but turned out to be a scheme. I tried to pull it up and put my user and my password and everything, and I couldn't get it, so I called customer service to help me get it back online. All she wanted to do was try to get back into Amazon Prime. Well, then they start. They went, well, you're, apparently your account's been scammed, or we'll have to do this, and we'll have to do that. Nicole Cadero with the Better Business Bureau of Eastern Carolina says the Gertons may have fallen victim to a scheme where a thief will create a lookalike website with a simple tweak in the URL. So they'll take a URL. Sometimes it'll have HTTP without an S. Without an S, that means the website is not secure. You do not want to put your information, especially credit card information, into that because who knows where it'll end up. In That's not the only method. The BBB ads with incredible deals may be a phishing scheme in order to get your important information, like your passwords or credit card number. The number one thing Better Business Bureau can say is if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Meanwhile, the Gertons tell me they're in the process of getting their money back after a simple mistake. But questions remain about the criminals on the other side of the computer screen. What happens to the scammer? Hopefully we stopped ours. How many people did? Other recommendations from the BBB include installing security cameras for packages. As well as relying on a trusted neighbor in Myrtle Beach. Samuel Shelton, WNBF News.